Whoa. Almost fell just now. Oh, God. I bit myself, guys, on the side of the cheek like an idiot because I couldn't get Hungry Howie's into my fat mouth fast enough. So if you hear me talking like Holly Hunter for like the rest of the show, you know why. Uh, you guys have heard of Planet Earth, like the documentary show? I see nodding. Okay, it's good. Educated people, it's awesome. Uh, don't watch it with vegans. I mean, I'm assuming a lot of people, like, how many people here are vegan? Any vegans in the room? Really? Yeah. Outstanding. Okay, then you'll, you'll understand where I'm coming from. So, good-natured people. My, uh, most of my friends are vegans, and they're awesome, and they were like, invited me over, they said, like, hey man, we're gonna make some vegan chili with some diet cheese, you wanna come over? I was like, yeah, all right, cool. It's cold out, you know, hearty, I, I can handle it. Yeah, we're gonna watch Planet Earth. Every episode of Planet Earth is narrated by a British dude who sounds like he's about to die. Now, I don't know why, because they used to get Morgan Freeman. Do you guys remember, like, it's like about, I don't know what episode it is, but Morgan Freeman used to do it, and it was awesome. And it was just like, hello. My name is Morgan Freeman. I'm here to tell you about penguins, and you'll thank me for it. And then it was like, well, they couldn't get him, and then they got Oprah to do, like, one. And she was like, you get a gazelle, and you get a gazelle, and you get a gazelle. Everyone gets wildebeest. And then it started getting slower, like, down the celebrity ladder, where it's like, it's like Seth Rogen showing up for some reason, and he's like, you guys uh, want to talk about uh, earthworms? <laughs> um, so we're watching it, and this British dude's like, it was at that time, the mother lioness stalked the lady gazelle and her children. And the carcass was dripping from her teeth. And then my friends were like, yeah, a fucking course, right? And I'm sitting here like, I eat meat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm feeling the heat here. Like, mm, this is not a good idea. But the one guy that they haven't gotten on the show, which I wish, would be Christopher Walken. Because it's creepy enough, right? I think everybody would enjoy it. Because he'd just get up there and be like, Wild dogs! Blood hanging from the mouths. Woo! Every day I couldn't help it, I saw it there. Unbelievable. Okay. Cool. There's a penguin here. Why? I don't know. Do you? You're wearing a polo. You, I kind of, I kind of sound like King Candy there for a second there. That was weird. Like I was like, oh, that's very nice. I, I fucked up this impression because I have no water. Um, oh wow, my buddy's recording that, and my mom's probably gonna see that. I'm sorry I said the f word, mom. I love you. Um. What else do I want to talk about? Covered vegans. Thank you for participating in that, by the way. Even if you're not, thank you. I just said it because my roommate wanted to save money. Did you say, what now? Yeah, our roommate wanted to save money, and we were just sitting there, and he was like, hey man, you're vegan. So stop, stop talking, sir. You're ruining my set. You're ruining my set. Oh, gross. Um, I'm just kidding. So. The one movie that I wish they would make that they haven't yet is another Expendables movie. <laughs> I just want, I love those action movies. Those guys are great, the old action stars. I grew up watching them. But I'd like for them to take a more progressive route, you know? So like the movie for me would start out kind of like this, you know? In the city, two cops needed a miracle. They eat it back up. They eat it each other. No, from the critically acclaimed director who brought you Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> and Finding Nemo. Comes Broke Back Mountain 2. 
Judgment Gay. <laughs> Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. More action, more excitement, and more grunting than you care to hear. Listen to me, I don't know how we're going to get out of this, but I need you to come over to this tent and spoon with me, please! Do it now! What are you waiting for? Spoon with me! Hey, yo, you know, I don't know how to quit you. <laughs> and that's love, guys. That's the real message. I'm Caesar. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>